let us come back to the next part of my former speech or the former uh, class so now uh, let me tell you all about the uh, technical points of the sounds so some basic ideas you should have in connection with knowing a foreign language like english so i can tell you that uh, i can tell you that uh, letters and sounds letters cannot exist without sounds and also they have a they have a, a relationship also that uh, both of them they depend on each other that if letters represent sounds sounds also represent the letters and what is called in english this is called that uh, phonetic trans transcription phonetic transcription what is you may be you may be confused with a transcription so transcription it means that uh, that is a sign language that is a sign language and it is to be uh, transcribed and uh, in each each sound system suppose uh, i have said that uh, this is a particular a sound that is called the sound of a th that is that you can sign that uh, those sounds in dictionaries <clears throat> it is represented by two slash marks and uh, you can easily recognize in dictionary or from dictionary that uh, those sounds are in between two slash marks and these slash marks are essential and uh, that uh, identifications of a sound system so the letters so now you can find that uh, in case of a consonants in case of a consonants i have already said that there are 24 consonants so in case of a consonants you can find that most of the sound symbols or you can say the ipa international phonetic alphabet they are similar to the normal consonants normal consonants in english in english so you need not be very much worried about the consonants because most of the consonants most of the consonants they are similar in sound systems their representations are also the same but some sounds suppose there is a english letter you can letter you can find y and this is y but in sound system it is identified as j not y so you can find that some of the sounds which are represented differently and those are those may be some may put forth some difficulties for you in knowing all these things but you can find that of the sound of the letter i have already said that the sound of the letter the sound of the letter the sound of the letter c that this sound letter of the sound of the letter c it can be represented by the symbols that the symbolic symbols s and by the symbol also k and i have already said that k you can find it word cat but you can find that c is represented by k and yes i have already said that you can find also c and you can also find a center and similarly a 
you can find that that is a, a chord the sound is a different same a presenting a different sounds that you can find also that is man so the same when it is a pron when it is represented as that sound that is this is the a sound deep sound cut so similarly this is a sound a is a sound that is a e so that is a main main so therefore you can find that all these are different representations so similarly that this sound at the beginning of the the sound at the beginning of the word suppose i take two different words one is thing one is a thing there is a word and you can sound represent representation or sound representation is a th that is a thing and it, i can also compare this word thing with this and i also told you in my uh, first uh, video clip or in my first class that uh, that is a, these two are represented these two represents two different sounds that is a thing that is a, this is the sound system and this is the alphabet i give two slash marks before and after this and you can that is i have already said that this is the this so therefore they are different some forms i have already said that most of the sounds are similar or in match with the letters and some sounds are different but you can find one letter may have different sounds and one sound may have also different representations or different uh, uh, different sound alphabet so therefore most of the vowel sounds are represented by and this is as a whole you can find this is as a whole it is called that is ipa international phonetic alphabet and therefore in as a whole you can find i have already said that their international phonetic alphabets are 44 in a number and uh, and uh, all of them those the vowels and diphthongs they are 20 in numbers okay so therefore you can find that they are uh, similarly you can find also that is a ipa symbol that is you can find and you know students you know that uh, there are some uh, more marks more marks in the sense that uh, more uh, symbols you can find that is a i and uh, it is represented by two dots and uh, when it is i it is two dots and uh, similarly also you can find one more english letter that is u but in case of sounds it is also it also receives two dots u also receives uh, two dots are written with two dots the dots indicate that the vowels are longer than the other vowels so these dots they symbolize or they, they represent that those letters are deeply pronounced so, and so therefore these dots represent that the profound sound the deep sound or you can say that uh, that is stressed and uh, you may have heard stressed and unstressed so these letters are stressed letters in english and uh, therefore the term and the letters similarly a e i o u they are also in ordinary english they are called vowels 
in ordinary english they are called vowels and you know that but note that english has i have already said but you have to know that the english in its sound sense it has a 20 vowels and some are pure vowels you can you can say that 12 are pure vowels it is it is pronounced and and the rest eight are why it is not called pure vowels because it is pure vowels because a single letter represents the sound but it is you can say impure impure in the sense that it combines double sounds in its speech in its speech systems so therefore it is there are 20 vowels and the spelling of words or english words give little indication of their pronunciation for example in the spelling of the word c so the spelling of the word suppose i take these two words one word i take c and you can see that the that c the letter e you can see in this word the letter e is what happens it is e is repeated e is repeated so e is repeated and therefore the spelling of the word c the e is but this spelling represents a single vowel this represents a single vowel that is i have said that this is this is this because it is repeated and it is a double e in normal english letter but it is represented in sound system it is represented by i with a double uh, dots so therefore it is a stress but the spelling of the represents a single similarly in the spelling of words like believe you can see believe or you can also take another word that is receive believe or receive so you can also find so find the so called vowels that is i e or e i so therefore but in the pronunciation you have a single vowel but in pronunciation you have a single vowel that is i with two dots so in the spelling of the word such as you can find there is a word dropped there is a word dropped one finds two consonants one finds here what are what are they you can find two consonants that is p and a, a p but in the pronunciation only a single but when i utter this word that is dropped so in pronunciation it is represented by a single by a single consonant that is a p so when i say drop so i take a sound of a, a single p so therefore it is dropped and when the letter r you can find that when a